This episode of CleaningBiz.TV is made possible by the Janitorial Store's six CD set, Standard Operating Procedures for Janitorial Companies. You can use the documents in this set to systematize your cleaning company, and if you're thinking about qualifying your business for SIMS certification, this program does meet certification requirements and has been approved by an ISSA SIMS certification assessor. I'm Jean Hansen, and this is a show that will help turn your vision into a successful cleaning business. If you want it done right, do it yourself. I'm sure you've said this to yourself a few times. I know I have. And you know what? You're probably right. No one can run your business as well as you. No one will put the same amount of time and energy into your business as you do, and no one has the passion for the business that you have. Of course not, it's your business. But if you don't let go of some of the control and let others take over some of the things you shouldn't be doing, you're going to burn yourself out, I guarantee it. Because you know what? It's happened to me, a lot. And it's something I have to work on all the time. Now many of you are probably thinking, well, I do hire employees and delegate tasks, but they all seem to let me down at some point. They just don't clean as good as I do. They don't fill out the invoice the way I would have done it. Or they don't say the right things to the clients. So what happens? You go back and redo the work they did and end up wasting double the time. You re-clean a restroom that wasn't done to your satisfaction. And then you go clean up the equipment that wasn't clean to your standards. And you do it, not because you want to, but because you feel you need to. You're looking for perfection in every aspect of your business. And if you don't find it, by golly, you'll take care of it yourself. Does any of this ring a bell? It should, because most of us have been there at some point in our business. We know that being a business owner means working long hours, so we spend a lot of time making sure everything is being done correctly, even if it means doing it all ourselves. What does all of this mean for your business? Well, it means your business will not be able to survive without you. It means you'll give up precious time with family and friends. It means giving up relaxing vacations and missing your kids' sporting events and school plays. It also means that you'll probably stop placing any importance on your own health and fitness and lose sleep at the same time. You'll feel physically and mentally drained. Can you see all the negative things that will start happening in your life if you continue to feel the need to control every aspect of your business? You eventually become your own worst enemy and no one comes out a winner in the end. What I want you to do right now is think about what you envisioned when you decided to start your business. I'm pretty sure that one of the things you envisioned is freedom. The freedom to spend more time with family. The freedom to take a day off if you want to do something fun. The freedom to buy the things you want. If freedom is what you envisioned, then why do you feel trapped? Why do you feel so tired and frustrated with how things are going? It's because you've set your standards so high that you need to be or that you need everything to be perfect. And when this happens, no one will ever be able to live up to your expectations, so they'll all let you down eventually. How do you break out of this road to nowhere? Well, you make a conscious choice. You can either let things continue on as they are, or you can recognize what is happening and take steps to fix the problem. The fix isn't going to happen overnight. It could take a few weeks, months, or a couple years to get things running the way they should. But making the commitment to make a change is the first step. First, decide what tasks you are doing that you should not be doing. Then create a written system for doing those tasks so other people can learn how to do it the way you want it done. Next, take the time to hire the right people for accomplishing the job. Never hire based on urgency of filling the position. Instead, recruit qualified people looking for growth opportunities and spend the time needed to train people, people right. Never rush their training. And continue to stay involved in their training and development. If they feel they have a future with your company, they'll stay with you longer and strive to do exceptional work. Once you're on the right track, you'll probably rediscover the original passion you had for your business when you first started. And when that happens, you'll find more happiness in your life. Two added bonuses. 
Number one is that your business will survive when you decide to take more time off for yourself and your family. And number two, financially, your business will become stronger and more stable. It's not an easy thing to do, but you only have one life and you should enjoy it. So go out and do what you need to do now to get things running smoothly in your business and you'll find you have more time to do the things that will make you happy for the rest of your life. That's it for today's show. If you'd like to save yourself hundreds of hours and thousands of dollars in time and money spent creating systems for your business, then be sure to check out the six CD set standard operating procedures for janitorial companies. The link to the program is below the video at cleaningbiz.tv. I'm Jean Hansen and you can find me on Facebook, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Just look for the links at cleaningbiz.tv. See you next time.